I started my career on a shop floor as a fabricator in an off-site sheet metal and steel manufacturing facility. I have been in the off-site construction industry before off-site was a buzzword. That ties right to a heavy utilization of BIM software and BIM technology as well. Working inside of polygons gives flexibility to the types of projects that you can produce. And the vision was to do this with automated equipment, to do it with better precision, better methods, and with the ability to do it at high volume. We do a lot of hospitality work. We also do a lot of multifamily work. It can be anything from slab on grade to five over podiums. We do both type three and type five construction. We primarily do open wall construction here at the factory nowadays. So we have done a lot over the last two years to evolve our building information modeling team and the processes and softwares that we use. In the past, we struggled with volume production in building information modeling. So we've had to make some changes there. We converted from one system to another. The new system was Revit-based MWF. We do not have downtime in the factory in that we could take months to craft a piece of software, test it, and implement it. One of the strongest points of our partnership with Gray Tech is that they were willing to come in, make a transition on a live project, on a project that had real schedules and real risk points, and helped us mitigate those risks by supporting us not only in the software as a deliverable, but the customization of the software, as well as the initial implementation and utilization. We looked at different partners and we looked at different people. One of our challenges was making sure that at the end of this transition, we had a large user base of potential users available to us. And that was what led us to use Revit, also MWF. I knew some folks that had used MWF in the past, and that gave me confidence that the software could do what we needed it to do. There are remarkable tools in the system, like Copy Modular, that gives us the ability to define, say, an entire unit or an area in a unit, a kitchen, a bathroom, a utility pod, various different types of units from a grouping of wall panels or floor panels to individual wall panels and floor panels. And then we can copy those well-defined granular elements to the other areas in the building that that piece can be utilized. That gives us very early data on how we're utilizing materials, where we're utilizing materials. My team can generate detail level drawings and information and modify them quickly so that our communication happens seamlessly. So we can show people what we need the building to be built like rather than the, the really slow markup a set of details and hand it back and then it comes back to us and mark it up again. We do a lot of collaboration. We are never the architect of record or the engineer of record. So by nature, we have to coordinate with these folks in, in great detail. We can actually bring the architects and the engineers right into our 3D environment. They can see the model, they can log concerns, they can ask questions, we can assign things to them, and we can build that building virtually as a digital twin before we ever go into production. As we were reflecting as a team on the year at the end of 2023, we took a look at what our volume was. Had we not made a transition, what volume we would have been able to accomplish versus what we were able to accomplish having made the transition. In round numbers, we produced roughly 150,000 linear feet of wall panels. We think we would have actually hit a cap of somewhere around 60,000 linear feet of wall panel had we not made the transition. So in terms of our volume potential in the factory, the software allowed us to push the factory to higher limits much faster. The reason that happened is because we were able to produce faster in the BIM environment and not just barely squeak by feeding the factory. We have more factory capacity than we had BIM capacity. The software leveled that playing field and gave us more BIM capacity to help match our factory capacity. Having Graytech as a partner who was willing to come and mitigate risk was a big game changer for us because we couldn't take the production line offline. We had to make a seamless transition as we put a project online and their partnership made that happen.